everyone, today I am bringing you a keto recipe video. I don't do very many of these because I am not that good of a cook and most of my recipes don't come out great. But this one is a jello dessert recipe that I absolutely love. It's something that my grandma had originally showed me and I kind of changed um, a couple ingredients to make it a little more keto friendly and low calorie. So in this video, I will show you my lemon lime jello salad dessert dessert recipe. Okay, so this recipe um, is different than the traditional recipe because I made this variation when I was uh, doing low calorie, when I was uh, lifting weights, and was on a meal plan from my trainer. So um, this is low calorie. The original recipe is much more keto. Well, not much more. It's a bit more keto because it uses mayonnaise, but now I can't even have the original mayonnaise version. So this is how I'm gonna make it. Um, but it's it's really good this way. Um, so, but I have three cups of hot water. I have one large lime jello, sugar-free. Um, you can do a smaller lime and then do also one lemon. That's what my grandma usually does. I'm just gonna pour it in slowly and mix it. So this does uh, increase the carb count by a little bit because there are three carbs in each cup. Um, rather if you use mayo, there are, I think, zero. Um, but it ends up only being two net carbs per square, which is one twelfth of the entire recipe. So it ends up being not that bad. Um, and to me, it tastes so better. I actually can't eat it the original way anymore. So I'm just going to pour it into the hot water. Okay, and then I'm just going to mix that in. Make sure it's all kind of dissolved and incorporated. So this way, like I said, um, is two net carbs per square um, compared to, I think it was one net carb for the recipe with mayo. Um, but if you're worried about calories like I am, um, this version is going to be only 50 calories per square. Rather, the recipe with mayo is 150 calories per square. For me, I'd take the one more carb for 100 more calories in the day uh, to use somewhere else. But obviously, you can make it with mayonnaise if you'd prefer to have lower carbs. I didn't use a big enough bowl, so I'm going to have to go a little slow here. Another option that I've been wanting to try, instead of using water uh, for the base, I want to try using this. This is a Sunny Select uh, Key Lime. I don't know if the American, what is it called? All American? No, Clear American. I don't know if Clear American has a key lime flavor, but I think that might taste good. So this looks really well mixed, if I do say so myself. And it's that nice, like, seafoam green color, so it's all well incorporated. So normally I would add the next ingredient here, but since this is getting full, I'm going to put this into a 9 by 13, I think it is, Pyrex dish. Okay, so now we want to add the most important ingredient. This is a cottage cheese. I got the large curd, which I'm super excited about. I've never had it before. But this one was the best one I could find at four net carbs. It does have 120 grams of calories, not grams, 120 calories. Um, but I'm only going to use half of this. So I think that'll be um, two cups and I'll just mix that in. Okay, so I have two cups measured, so I'm just going to plop it in there. 
Oops, I didn't actually mean to plop it. And then just mix it around. And I'm just going to go in and whisk it. I really want it to be spread out evenly, so... Okay, that looks pretty good. Since it's still hot, I'm going to leave it out for a little bit and then put it in the fridge. Um, I'm going to have this chill overnight just because I don't need any today. Um, but I, I think you could probably check on it maybe in six hours, four to six hours and see if it's, um, ready. Pop those bubbles cause I want it to be nice and smooth, not bubbly. It already tastes a million times better than the one with mayonnaise. But anyways, I'm going to let that sit and then I'll probably mix it up before putting it in the fridge but I'll let it sit for about 30 minutes to kind of cool down. Okay guys, so I have two pieces here uh, of the Jello salad. That wasn't a good piece. I think I do like the small curd better, but this is what it looks like. I know my camera doesn't focus real well, but I'll give it a taste. I don't like cottage cheese, but there's something that the cottage cheese does to the jello that makes it just like really creamy i love it definitely use the small curd though the uh the large curd doesn't get as like it doesn't absorb as much of the jello flavor um and it just doesn't like break up as nice see i have like big pieces and it kind of just falls out of the jello but the cottage cheese adds like a nice texture to the jello and the jello, the lime flavor is just like so good, but it's also creamy. It's fruity and tangy. I love it. And each square is only 50 calories. I'll have all the nutrition in the description box below. It's only 50 calories if you split up the, um, the entire 9 by 13 pan into 12 uh, pieces. So I feel like it's a nice hefty portion and also it's not a lot of calories um, because of the ingredients that's in it. So I absolutely love this, but I love Jell-O desserts. If you're looking for a Jell-O dessert, I highly recommend this, even if you don't like cottage cheese, because I didn't like cottage cheese before having this dessert either. So I highly recommend it. I love this and I'm obsessed with it right now. But that's all I have for you guys in this video. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. I'd like to know your feedback one way or another. But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.